Hello, lovely people. How are you guys doing? In today's video, we'll be checking out some TikTok makeup hacks. Not only checking them out, we'll actually be trying them out. So that's very exciting. You guys know that I love learning new techniques, new tricks, new ways of doing my makeup. I'm all about updating my makeup game. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna start off with an eyebrow hack. Ugh, my eyebrows. I'm always trying to find better ways to do them. I don't know you guys, I feel like me and my brows, we just don't have a good relationship, you know? It's, something is wrong. Because <laughs> I try to make them look pretty, I spit them. <laughs> Cause I try to make them look pretty and they're like, no, we don't want that. Super easy eyebrow hack. Whoa. Ugh. Hey, listen, they don't look that bad at the end. The first half of the video was, <laughs> I wasn't sure where this was going, but the end result was not that bad. Oh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> So in the comments of that TikTok video, most of the people were like, huh, how about no? But there were also a lot of people that were saying that this is how they actually do their eyebrows. And I was like, you guys do that? And it works for you? I need to try it out too. You think I applied a little bit too much? <laughs> okay, now I... Hold on. Look, even if I'm blurry, you can still see my eyebrows. All right, now is the most satisfying part. Take your... Makeup wipe. Here we go. Oh, that felt so good. So satisfying. It looks crazy before it starts looking better. I'll go ahead and use some concealer just to, you know, finish the eyebrow look. What do you guys think of this hack? I know that some of you will think that this is a total waste of product. And I agree, I went a little bit crazy. The girl in the video definitely used too much product. It's excessive, there is no need for all that. I know how some of you feel, okay? I could hear you scream while watching me do my eyebrows today. That's exactly how I felt watching the girl from the video. But once you try it out, it's not that bad. It actually kind of makes sense. And I also think that it's kind of quicker to fill in your brows like this. If I can find my spoolie, I'll show you guys one trick. I found it, it's your lucky day. So if you decide to try out this hack, once you have your eyebrows clean and you know, all nice and ready, you can take a clean spoolie and just brush it through the brow hairs. It will take out some of the excess and it will just give you that more soft eyebrow look. Make everything look a little bit more natural. So usually if you wanna contour your nose, this is what you would do, right? Okay, but there is that other nose contouring hack that we'll try out today. I never contour my nose. I can't make it look natural. It always looks like I have something brown on my nose and I need to wipe it off. It looks good on photos though, but in real life, it's like, oof. How to reverse nose contour. Take a triangle sponge with baking powder on. First step, baking. I don't like baking outside of the kitchen. In the kitchen, I can bake all day, but I don't like baking on my face. It's so drying on me, especially if it's for an everyday kind of look. Every time I use that much powder on my face, there is a hair in my beauty blender. Every time I use that much powder on my face, my life gets shorter with an ear. Should I also apply that on my cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> Now all we need is a blush. I don't know you guys, I don't know. Maybe it will all work at the end, who knows? Definitely not my nose. It doesn't know anything. Oh, that highlighter is bright. And the last step. Add bronzer here and voila. <laughs> I got that bronzer in my nose all the way down to my throat. <laughs> I don't think that this is how it's supposed to look. What is happening? Why it doesn't work? I probably used a little bit too much. My nose kind of looks like those trio ice creams, the vanilla, strawberry and chocolate one in the big family sized box. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think that this hack works for me. Take a card and add your skin tone concealer to the edge of the card and gently pull the card downwards. Blend out the concealer and your eyeshadow is perfectly placed. Hey, that's a nice hack. I want to try it out. Okay, I'm gonna go get my eyeshadows. For my card today, I'll use this empty packaging from a gum. It looked like this, but I just... And I think that it will do the job. Or it'll be not sponsored. So, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. By the way, my shirt here. This is an edge of a donut, but it looks like it's dirty. Anyways, back to the makeup. We're just gonna get that concealer on the card. I already have my eyeshadows on. As you can tell, I went a little bit crazy here just to see if it works. Oh no, I applied too much concealer. No, that's a lot of concealer. 
Okay, I'm gonna use whatever I have left from that concealer and I will try to do it on this eye. It definitely works! I mean, not on this eye. It was a fail here. And you can just blend it out and you're good to go! Hey! That's nice! I mean, you can do the same with a brush. Just get some concealer and make a nice sharp line. Using a card, it makes it a little bit quicker. Next, hack! Make your sheer or medium coverage foundation into full coverage by adding loose powder to it. Ooh, looks thick. I wonder if it works. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm gonna take this ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Here's my powder and I'm just gonna... I wonder if it's a good idea to do it in the cup of this powder. Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna use a cup of a powder that I'm no longer using. Whoa! Oh! This is a disaster. All that foundation is on my finger. Come on camera, focus. Okay, foundation and powder inside there. And let's mix it. I think I need more powder. I feel like a chemist here. I'm not sure how that will look on the skin. Okay, time to try it out. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand first. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell through the camera, but this is very, very cakey. It's not blending into the skin. It just sits on top of it. No matter how much I try to blend it with my sponge, it sits on top of the skin in a really weird way. This reminds me of my first foundation that I ever bought. It was very, very cheap. It was like three bucks or something and it looked exactly like that and i was wondering why what is wrong with my skin it's supposed to make it look better it doesn't make it look better at that time i wasn't like i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what was wrong with it also it was not my color of course i don't know anybody that got their first foundation and they actually had the perfect match anyways i don't think i this hack did anything you can try it out maybe if you use less powder it may work a little bit better but i think that it just makes it very cakey maybe it can work with different products but with the ones that i tried Definitely no. I'm very, very excited to try this one out. Take your favorite mascara. If you already like it, you're gonna love it with this technique. Okay, mascara. I will use this one here by Hourglass. This is my favorite mascara. I can't think. Should I curl my lashes first? Yeah, let's give them a curl. Because if I don't, they're pointing straight down to the ground. What we're going to do is actually start on the very tips of the lashes. First coat is just the tips. Second coat is going to be the middle part of the lashes and you're definitely not going to touch the roots yet. Wait, hold on. My lashes don't have a middle part. The wand is almost touching my roots. Hers are long. Mine are short. Third coat gets out all of the clumps. So you're going to go all the way to the base of your lashes. I kind of close my eyes for this part like this and wiggle it up. And the third layer is supposed to be where the magic happens. We're starting at the roots. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Okay. And then we're just, whoop, all the way out. What do you guys think? Whoa, I think that it worked. Whoa, that is awesome. A, 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 nice. <laughs> if I try it a few more times and get used to applying my mascara like that, this can be very, very useful. Yeah, it does take a little bit longer to apply your mascara, but my lashes, look at them. You can see them. <laughs> Usually you can't because they're pointing straight or down, but now they're curled. Even if I'm looking down, you can still see them. That is crazy. Usually when I'm looking down, my lashes are pointing this way, but now they're pointing this way. Oh, thank you so much. This was a nice hack. I'm definitely going to be trying it out a few more times. Love it. I don't know if you can tell, but this one made me excited. We're gonna keep on talking about lashes, but this time we have a false lashes hack. Okay, so here's another beauty hack, but this one's for eyelashes. You're going to put your eyelash glue as if you were putting on eyeliner, as close to your eyelashes as you can. Step two, put your glue as normal, and then you're good to go. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've heard about this hack a few more times in the past, but I've never actually tried it out. I'll use this lash glue here, and I'll start off by applying it very closely to my lashes as an eyeliner. 
All right, now the next step is I'm gonna take my lashes and I'm gonna apply some of that lash glue on them as well. Boom. And where is my lash applicator? Where is my lash applicator, you guys? I lost it somewhere. I'm gonna use tweezers instead. All I have to do is glue on my lashes as I would usually do. Okay, I think I know how this works. I think I know the secret. I'm gonna try something similar but a little bit different on my other eye. So I'm gonna take my lash glue and apply it closely to my lashes as if I'm applying eyeliner. <laughs> this feels so weird. I'm acting cool, but this is making me not feel good. Just letting you know, okay? <laughs> and I'm not gonna apply any lash glue on my lashes. I'll go ahead and glue them on. It's so difficult without my lash applicator. There you have it. I also added my winged eyeliner. Now, I think I know why this works. I'm not sure, but this might be the reason. When you apply your lash glow on your skin, it gets warmer quicker because of your body temperature. You know, your body is hot. <laughs> and because it gets warmer, that makes it get tacky quicker. So if you're impatient, as most people are, when you start to glow on your fauces, your lash glow is already nice and tacky. So it's easier to glow on your fauces. I'm sure that so many of you guys have heard that when you apply your lash glow on your lash, you need to let it get tacky for a while for a few seconds well it gets tacky quicker if you apply it directly on your skin so I think that's the reason it gets tacky quicker and most people find that using this technique it works better for them the only thing that I'm worried about with this technique is that you may end up with lash glow all over your lashes and it's so difficult to remove it after that so you need to be careful okay so our last hack for today beauty hack to turn your eyes shadows into lip glosses oh i hope she doesn't scrape the top of that eyeshadow oh no because usually i've seen how people turn eyeshadows into lip products and it's not beautiful because they scrape the top part of that eyeshadow and then they mix it with some lip balm and boom now you have lipstick but at what cost because that's such a waste of the eyeshadow put your desired color on your finger Apply it on your hand. All right. Swipe an all natural chapstick. It should look like this. And apply on your lips. And I like it. I will go with this color here. Applying some of it on the back of my hand. I'm taking my lip gloss. I mean, lip balm. It looks like this. Hmm, it's very sheer. Maybe I can get some of that eyeshadow and put it directly on that lip balm. Yeah, this is a little bit better. Oh, check this out. Hey, that's nice. You can do this and then use your finger to apply it. Because your finger is loaded with that color. And you're getting a lot more color payoff. Whoa, what a nice color. I love it. I'm never using lipstick ever again. <laughs> I want to take some of that eyeshadow. Let me try something out. I'm going to try to line my lips with that eyeshadow. Check it out. Before, after before after and then i'll just go ahead and add some of that lip balm on top oh wow and it doesn't look powdery it doesn't look cakey it looks like i used lipstick this is crazy i have something on my mind this orangey shade i'm also going to mix it with the yellow one you guys ready <laughs> here we go hey i was expecting it to come out a lot more bright it's nice definitely something bolder but hey it's not bad. I also... <laughs> I know, I know. I can stay here and play with eyeshadows all day. Let me try out something last, okay? Let's try out this rose gold shade. It's also shimmery. Wow. Maybe if I add some of this shade here. Don't pay attention to the application. Just check out the color. You guys can add any pigment, any eyeshadow to a lip balm and turn it into a lipstick. You can literally like play all day. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of that eyeshadow again. I will line my lips with it. Then I'm gonna take some of it on my finger, some lip balm, and boom, we are ready to go. So guys, which one was your favorite hack? Which one do you wanna try out? I think that the eyebrow hack definitely 
surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to work that well. I was expecting mess and disaster, but it turned out pretty good actually. I really think that it can work for some people. But again, don't use that excessive amount of product. Definitely not needed. The other hack that I loved was the lipstick hack. So nice. I'm gonna be definitely using this again because it's so difficult to find the perfect shade of nude lipstick. But I have a ton of nude eyeshadows so I can mix them with some lip balm and get nude lipstick or more like nude lip gloss. It's not supposed to be that covering. It's supposed to be more sheer. But I just kept on adding eyeshadow and I got um, a lot of color. Let me guys know if you want me to try more TikTok hacks. I would definitely love to do that, but I want to hear your thoughts. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, because that helps me a lot. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!